Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode six of my journey through group self-found Settlers of Calgar League. Last time I got my third watchstone by taking down the Maven. I took down Elder, Shaper, the Formed, the Twisted, and I could keep pushing that to go for Uber Elder. But today I want to do nothing but focus legions and finish up the legion project i've been working on so currently i've got 18 eternal 18 karui 20 vol 10 templar and 9 marikath emblems all set to be able to run and then i've acquired a pretty large chunk of legion scarabs so i'm gonna run all of those first while i still have the whole atlas passive tree set up for legion and then yesterday the power went out while i was uploading my video requiring me to upload it again so i also farmed a bunch more legions in t13 maps and i'm 41 percent of the way to level 96 now so i I smashed a bunch of maps. Big things I found during that, the incubators popped. I got a commander's brigandine. I got an arcane vestment six link. I got a 123 lightning warp and I dropped a prism guardian. And I have two more geomancers incubators cooking in here that I got during that as well. But otherwise, nothing much I did there. Can add these to the collection of six links. And then last time I also found this Watcher's Eye that gives attack damage while affected by precision and physics extra fire while affected by anger. I think I'm going to start working towards building a tectonic slam juggernaut or maybe chieftain. I don't have it quite figured out what I want to do there yet, but I'm going to want a big fizz weapon for that. It probably needs to be an axe or a mace, maybe a staff. I don't know. That's going to be what I'm trying to collect things for to go for the next build. But before we get going on Legions, we got to bring out Commodore It Fights Back and collect our shipments that went to Calgur and Pondium. Let's see, from Calgur, quite a bit of stuff. We got seven runes, currency, jewelry, life armor, cold damage, marble amulet. It's kind of cool. Rings, bad, bad, bad. Okay, nothing great there. We'll take all of that. Eat a bunch of it to Rog because he's empty. Ooh, this one's kind of good. Small attributes, life region, fire res with energy shield on the moonstone energy shield. That one I definitely hold on to and keep this big life mana marble amulet, I guess, just in case. And then the other shipment comes back with a couple of uniques and of weapons. Wands mostly. Prophecy wand with attack speed fizz hmm oh why is a boot blade though a lot of resistance is on this that's really cool been kind of keeping my eye out for a fizz dagger but that's a pretty bad base i think yeah it looks like the rest of this stuff can go give rog some more stuff and more runes and yeah this is kind of nuts maybe this is recombinator work for some point and try and get the merciless mod on a better base Somebody messaged me saying they have they have a six link Esmite blade they grabbed from Heist. Um, I would like that. Uh, let's give him some incubators. Cool. So I would have to craft this, but in case like I could hit something, this could be an upgrade here. Maybe it, it might be time to stop picking up weapons off the ground. Maybe I do have a chance here. So let me hit it and see what it does. It didn't hit. It'd have to hit pretty good because the flat cold damage on this is pretty solid. But then I also, I gathered 99k gold that I threw in here. So I've got a lot of gold to work with things. I need to get the next shipments going out though. I need 15k wheat to go out here to Calgar. I don't think I have enough, but I'm constantly going to be sending stuff out there. Yeah, I've got 9k on the wheat. So we'll make another chunk out of that. And Blue Xanthem, um, I have the 2100. Finish that off and then we give it a multiplier. It can be higher even. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to send 8,000. And yeah, I could send a lot more stuff, but I want to keep the resources. I only want to send the resources that are being used there. So I could probably remove some guys to lower the gold cost, but whatever. We'll send them. Uh -huh. And then the corn needs to go to Ribbonfell. So we'll send the other boat over there and they take 19,000 corn. No. So we'll do 9,500 and give it 
a little bit of a value boost. There's some risk there, but set sail. And then next, I want to spend some of this gold, add another farming plot. Plots yield increased crop per adjacent plot being farmed. So that's a big thing is I need to get people in here and I need more farmers. All right, so if I want a farmer, let's just re-roll this. This enchanter is not a farmer. Roll again. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one more. It's a four farmer, but it's something. They will come in handy. So then we add the farmers that are not going to cost me everything. And then we're, we've got another wheat production happening because... I just sent that all and I think we're safe to go Legion now. So while farming, I had taken a watchstone out and I was farming these T13 shore maps and trying to bank up race courses at T14. I'm gonna throw that back in there, but I have 10 T14 race courses. Now these are gonna get chiseled for each of these. We're gonna alk them, make sure they're rolled. Hopefully not to kill me, but doable. The build is feeling really strong. And if I get the generals to show up, I get frenzy charges because I worked that in last time with the sword mastery gain frenzy charges when you hit a unique enemy. So for these scarabs, like we need to try and plan this out. I, I don't know about these eternal conflict things. Increasing difficulty and reward each time they're broken out. Five additional sergeants. That's probably the best one. The accompanied by general is cool, but then I can only run one of those each in there if I run them all like that. Or I could pull these ones out and then do a set of this and get five additional sergeants in there and then run these ones afterwards. This is probably how I get the most out of them. Probably something like this. So it's only going to take 12 maps to like really turn through these, but that's going to be 12 maps with one, two, three additional legions. Wait, why did they? Oh, I guess they're set to stack. So we have that. I can spin the five chaos. I'm willing to do it since we're fully invested in legion here. Then since I'm in a T14 map, we'll pull out of destructive play and also grab some eater altars maybe grabs ooh final boss drops scarab less common varieties scarabs found your maps are more likely to be less common varieties so we'll, we'll add that in so i think there should be five legions in this map and hopefully i don't die because i would like to keep grinding this level out and i was absolutely like crushing the maps i was doing the t13s like nothing could stand a chance and i think i need to stop picking up the weapons that'll just make me get through these faster and there's going to be too much loot now these legions can definitely spawn at the edges here and hopefully they split correctly like along this line rather than this line or else there's gonna be nothing on that side so hopefully they'd be nice this one did not <laughs> but additional sergeants they didn't give them rewards where are the rewards on those sergeants yeah that side is pretty dead and then i need to not die to the massive explosion oh oh god yeah it's gonna be kind of gnarly with all these extra rares coming out of them. Maybe I got unlucky on that one with it not giving me good rewards. And if none of these give me good splits, we're gonna have to pick a different map and race course. This one split correctly. And I see in lots of rewards on rares back here. You make sure I get both sides though. Can't get too laser focused on one that's gonna be super tanky. All right. Ah, oh, <laughs> ridiculous. Mortal Grief. All right, Gloom Shrine. Take into the next area. Just like pop this next one. The split was correct. Good. We got a, a boss. So now I got Frenzy Charges. And I explode things. It's good, good, good. So yeah, that, that Scarab, like those extra generals, like what, what good is the extra generals if they don't spawn with rewards? All right, now this is the scariest part of it all. The Templars with their spell damage. I did some paying attention though to Cardinal Synctus Vox's moveset in the five way or the four way I did. So I know when this beam is coming. Not Watsy is kind of painful with all the chaos damage because I don't have the greatest chaos res, especially when my flask isn't up. But yeah, it's the chests that are really giving the payouts on the splinters. But yeah, if I looted all these weapons, it'd be a problem. <laughs> five link silk robe, Legion number four, good. 
the correct split. No boss, but that's fine. No boss also means like it's it's more time to make sure I, I get all the, the rares that I want to die. I can't say these legions feel too terribly different from just the normal ones without the additional sergeants. They feel about the same. Exalted Orb, an armor implicit on a Royal Burg, and a fifth Legion. So there were five, and a sideways split. Perfect. So if we keep getting that, I think Racecourse is going to be really solid for this. Ooh, I almost died again to these crew guys. Probably due to me lowering spell suppression with the map mod. Probably need to not do that. And then the boss. Oh, dead, dead, and dead. Easy. Let's see, 13.2k. It's a lot of gold out of the map. It took me a while. I had to take like trips of incubators, splinters, jewelry out of the map. Yeah, that was my fourth portal used. And I gained about 5% of my level. But I think the first test says race course is solid enough to do. Less cooldown only really hurts me on the frost blink and war cries. This one should be safer than the last one though. And I have all these still in there. Automatically slash legion. Yeah, just go next. Got it. Awaken added lightning damage leveled up. Huge. Okay, this one was not the correct split. This one spawned in the middle, so it can't mess me up. I feel like the the extra sergeants is really only good if you got a headhunter. <laughs> if you got a headhunter, like these legions are insane. Nico's memory of chasms. And we've got a boat after this map. I did just get a T13 dunes. Oh, this one was also a bad split for me. So it's going to be a toss up. If I do it T13 dunes, I don't think that would happen as often. Another bad split. Okay, I think this map has shown me that this is not the answer for sure. And another bad split. And the last one in the zone. Okay, rip. A rewritten distant memory, part of the perks of the T14 map. I've got T11 cemeteries. Ashen Woods could work. I think Tropical Islands would be good. A strand has to be good. Or a beach. Let's do a beach and a strand. See how they compare. I got cemeteries. I got jungle valleys. Jungle valleys could do well as well. Ley lines work well for it. Collect my shipment from Ribbon Fell. Bunch of currency. Yep, yep, yep. 20 alks there. Okay. First full stack of currency I've seen come out of one of these. And then I think we just send them right back with the next shipment of corn. Another 9,500. Send it. Oh, there's my legions. Oh, there's the fourth one. All kind of right here at the beginning. And this one split kind of bad. So even in the beach, there are walls. Yeah, this one split side to side, though. Oh my goodness. Six sockets. Damaturge Incubator. So much quality of life this league. Now we need the ability to lock items into our stash. So I could lock my Wisdoms and Portals and a dump all button. That'd be huge. Kind of like a uh, Terraria. Another Thaumaturge Incubator. Cool. I'm going to have a few of those. They keep giving me level 123 quality gems, though. Geomancer Incubator. A Crown of Eyes. Somebody took the imbued wand that I hit with the big T1 lightning damage. I wonder if they need a Crown of Eyes. Not a great roll on it, but... Well, I think all this, the wand attacks kind of just got the buff that Crown of Eyes gives. So Crown of Eyes might just be not necessary anymore. So, like, Kinetic Blast... Spell damage applies to attacks, 200% value. Power Siphon has it with 150. Kinetic Bolt has it with 200. Like, why do you need a Crown of Eyes anymore? I would say Strand feels better than Beach, but there's still instances like where the water here is blocking off a portion of the back lines. So it's not giving me as much as it could. Need less narrow, more open map. Dunes really is just the best. We've known that since Legion League, but I can't get T14 or higher dunes. Sea Valor has returned from Ribbonfell. So this will be the next corn shipment. Yup, a divine. High fusings, a bunch more alks. Okay, and then blue xanthemum. I am a few short on the blue xanthemum. So maybe let's do, uh, they need blue xanthemum. <laughs> 66,000 crimson. Let's send 9,000 pumpkin to Gakanu. And they can do that. Yep. And then, yeah. Give them the risk. Sure. Good. And 
had my gold 44,000 I brought with me 80k so I'll still a bit out on that then the cemetery the t15 this one's definitely more open but it's got little holes all over the place geomancer's incubator another one I feel like as well I've been doing a lot of these and I just grabbed that node for more rare scarabs I think that's the affecting the scarabs that are dropping here Without a doubt. I'm a charge incubator, another one. I keep dropping. All right, I can add in the next two of these. I got a spot for thaumaturgs. Oh, I picked up, well, that's a celestial armorsmith. It looks the same as the geomancer. I don't think I need that. It's easy enough to farm shaper items. Shaper jewelry, I'll probably hold on to these. That's less common. Cemetery map was better than the others I ran. The next ship has returned. I think I completed this too. Or maybe I just sent one of them. That wasn't the greatest. No, I just sent them the pumpkins. Still don't have 5,800 blue xanthamum. So do the ore gourd. 73 set sail. No Easy. Way. Reduced effect of curses tattoo. See, I've got a T16 ley line. Desert could be good. I got a T15 cemetery. I've only done five of these maps. These take a while. Soul fight. Oh, wow. Okay. That's going to be full. Oh, this is a terribly placed legion. <laughs> Uh-oh. Commandeered by pirates. Nice. Maricath emblem. We're going to have to send the Commodore out to go deal with some pirates. A sanctified fossil. All right. Let's go rescue these guys. This is going to be the same boss again. I hope so, because it's easy. Those filthy opportunists will yes. be next. After you! Cool. Stand here and hold down right click. Oh, and I already got hit by the. I need to. I need to do this and not get hit by the anvil or the anchor. Sink. But otherwise, this is just pretty free. Depths crush you. At least on this build. Final wow, round. This is the fun part of it. While wow, the waves are coming, you're getting pushed around and all kinds of crazy nonsense. Frizzy charge is definitely helping out here a lot. I should get some kind of calling strike. Maybe link that to my frost blink or something. These tougher enemies. Successfully rescued ship from pirates. Only 16k on the gold there. Oh no, there's more. Okay, lots of gold. Ooh, what is this? Admiral's arrogance. Plus one level of all. Oh, it goes, rolls to three. A chance to gain max rage. Hmm, that's pretty good. And now with all this gold, I guess let's go level up the farm. All right, and that is now maxed. So yeah, all these rates went up. And I guess the two in the middle are going to produce faster. Still need 150 blue xanthamum for my shipment that I'm working on. And that boat's still got 20 minutes. So here, maybe let's, let's change this to ore gourd. This one to blue xanthamum. This one to corn. This one the wheat. Oh, wow. This one has insane guys on it. Actually, I should leave this as the blue xanthamum. You know what? Let's have two blue xanthamums because I'm going to be out of that. Make sure I can send that next ship to fulfill that. Okay. And the next thing to upgrade would be shipping. Adding a ship to the fleet would be cool. Oh, ports quotas are 50% more rewarding. Oh, well, that's not super gold expensive either. So I'll probably do that. I'm not going to worry about this other boat yet, though. I need to stay focused on the legions, though. Twisted distant memory. This is the only of the legions in here that wasn't like butted up against a wall. Ley lines not turned out to be as great. I was hoping they'd spawn it like in the middle and they did not. I turned off all the weapon drops for the time being to just clean this up. No, I took a death. Only a matter of time. <laughs> I died again. Uh-oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, I gave him business lightning. Maybe that was the problem here. Bearcath emblem. Mm, this one's in a corner. And yeah, go bust up in the Eternals. They're all going to have fizz damage. At this point, go into T11 maps. Still quality them up. Getting enough chisels is going to be an issue. Gonna have to farm a lot of Exarch altars, I guess, if I want chisels for things. Venter's Gamble. Reduced mana reservation efficiency, but everything else is good. Is reduced what you want? I don't think so. I think you want increased mana reservation efficiency. Yeah, increased efficiency is better. Yeah. Hmm. So if that was increased, that would be really good. Five link arcane vestment. Yeah, it is increased mana reservation efficiency. It's a big change to this Venters. Exalted orb from chest. 
I got a Jack the Axe. I think somebody was looking for one of those. A ship has returned. Bunch more currency. Another tattoo. All right. Do I have 5,800 yet? I do. Good, good, good. So they go back to Ribbonfell with 5,800 blue xanthemum send them another maricath emblem drop dark skin tunic from the incubator six links get another valuable gym going on there the valor has returned that means i will have completed the ribbon fell next thing i like sending stuff to ribbon fell because that seems like it's the fastest way to generate runes um we we're stuck on that one Okay. Ooh, Sword Storm level 21. No quality. What is quality? Cooldown recovery rate. It's one of the new retaliation gems. Requires dual wielding melee weapons. That'd be something fun to do as well. Dual wield is not something that I have done in a very, very long time. I did try the like rage combo weapons at one point in time a long time ago i have also messed around with the savior that's also a dual wheel but that's a very different thing they see half of our spoils oh no corrupt customs officials that was a lot of blue xanthemum hopefully they delivered the xanthemum and it just took away from this damn oh well i've gotten a thousand back because i do have two things on blue xanthemum but it's going to take me a couple more hours before i can finish that oh my god <laughs> the things keep going way higher and higher Sixty-four thousand crimson iron oh i think i sent a bunch of crimson iron up to pondium not 14k let's see select this they need 38 that's 7600 okay that's doable they are gonna need the blue xanthemum too but we'll just do that send them uh, 10 minutes for calgar's back let's add gold to the treasury 68k there now um port quarters are 50 percent more rewarding unlock that okay so now yeah it's a 135 on it okay so that's good that leaves me with 36 um what needs upgraded next could start working on the mappers could upgrade this which is dust for quality most of the time i'm keeping him like off at the moment because that's expensive i guess if anything what i should be doing at this point is fishing from better farmers so a six farmer five 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 four four six five five seven four four five and four five okay so i'm removing four farmers but not the mapping one okay another reroll a seven mapper and a six farmer i've not had issues with mining like I'll, I'll grab one of these guys but we're removing fours for another six okay that is probably my best way to improve this and this is the thing that's always going and the only way to get more of that stuff is wait or improve the workers. Oh, nice. Torah research. That'll let me level my Awakened Eye Lightning some more. 123 Mirror Arrow. <laughs> okay. I got a Lion's Roar, a Blood Soaked Medallion, a Mineral on it. 200 million. That is 40% of that gym level. All right. The Calgary ship has returned. And this is the big one. I got an Exalt. Cool. Did we finish it? No, we're still 6,000 wheat short. Okay, so let me remove some of this crew and then send them back out there with... Okay, never mind. They don't got enough wheat. That's Blue Xanthemum. And have them deliver the Bismuth. It's 5,200. And they also need a ton of pumpkins. So add 4,000 pumpkins to it. Okay, I can still send more. How much of this? Well, 5,000 of that. And it's still fine. Send them with all of it. And then I can still... Can I remove a crew? Another one? Okay, so move some crew guys to another ship and send them. Okay, I got another power rune. The last one of the Legion Scarab of Officers. The last one that'll be like super rippy with all the rare enemies. America's emblem. I'm gonna have so many of these to do. At least it'll go faster than farming these maps. Double eternal emblem. Hence why it's going to take forever. <laughs> legions accompanied by generals i can do like seven more maps and go back to t16 so i can get some xp oh commandeered yet again can you leave please did you get stuck again okay and here goes the jack the axe oh cool nice essences all right i gotta go 
rescue a boat, see if I can dodge these anvils with no sound. Or since like this is gonna be a common occurrence, maybe I wait till I have something that does more damage. Circle, okay. Not too hard to do. It's gonna make it take a little longer though. I don't like he does the anvil in the final phase. He didn't do it at all. Let's see. Bleep. Aha. Uh -huh. And then I'll take that big stack of gold. Another pair of gloves. The best source of gold like in the game. Necromancer silks. The next six link. Open smuggler sh caches. That's an easy challenge to complete. Even though I have specced into that, not at all. Level 21 summon skeletons. Divination scarab of plenty. 123 holy flame totem. Level 21 earthquake. That one didn't come from the incubator. That one dropped off an enemy. What are my rewards from this? Oh my god. <laughs> a few quality gems. What? <laughs> <laughs> They're all support gems too. Oh, a 2120 predator support was in there. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's a pretty nutty shield. Wow. Hey, I'm holding that too. Sacred chainmail. All these are probably gonna end up getting vendored for GCPs. But pretty nutty, and I got four tattoos. Bismuth. Oh, I sent I sent them like every. I, okay, that's why, because I sent them a literal ton of stuff and this ship has been delayed i was wondering why it was two hours and i'm just gonna vendor all these right now i already looked through them and picked the one that was crazy just need to warlord slam for life on block and it's a greater shield that's a good idea i think i just sit on this with these guys and wait till i can get to the 6k for wheat need 1400 wheat so that'll take two hours roughly and then i don't have to worry about the ships for a minute divine orb the chests are where it's really at in these divine orb <laughs> out of the other chest two in one map uh oh chest is trapped in the verisium rip and another curie that Got stuck. Oh, a sentinel. Grants a hatred aura. It's a stalker one though, so sure. Stacked X, hello. Yep, more stacked X. Currency. Okay. At least with this the one I used on those wisped up bosses was uh wild. Oh, I forgot how bad this map is for these. Okay, well, I mean if it's gonna actually just like give me everything, just pile it all on top of each other, I'm fine with that. Yep, it did it back here too. 13 stacked decks off of that sentinel. Got a rhyme gaze. Come on, give me a gold oil. Nope. So tired of her getting stuck. It's annoying. I actually got both the bosses spawned here. Like I can almost see them on the same screen. So it's nice that it gave me that. And if it's gonna like split down the hallway. Ooh, I got a constrictor map. No! Mm. Got him. The corpse exploder is gone. Brutus lead sprinkler. Altered distant memory. That is the last of the scarabs. So the legions have been completed. Still not gotten a level. All right, it is time. I guess start by just going like three way and see what happens. Hopefully I can gain a level doing this. And I really want a Marraketh jewel. All right, so I got just a three way. Will it die? Okay, there's the first one. Lion Eye. Okay, got him. Okay, the others go down pretty quickly. Okay, is it back? Yes. Nice. First phase went down nicely. Okay, go. Lion Eye. It's all about the like big crits and the exerts all need to line up. Okay. 
Adrenaline. Go. Well, that's two each now. Managing the tincture. Move, move, move. Oh. Oh, I just turned the tincture off. Rip. Okay, it's three. Okay, another lion eye. I'm not focusing on rewards here. I definitely just care about the bosses because the bosses is what's going to give the jewels. All right, and hopefully it, it's going to be rough, but if I can get a, another one here. It's going to be tight. Adrenaline. Blasts. Okay, but I got I got four of the Marikath and then three of the others. It's not bad. Two Geomancers and Brutal Restraint. Let's go. Okay, now, Brutal Restraint. Does that give me what I'm looking for? No, that's Dance with Death. I will use Divines on this first one, just because I want to see this happen. But two more Six Links, that's pretty big. So th that was Azanath. Still Azanath. I completed a challenge. Nasima. There's Second Sight. You are blind. More melee crit chance. But accuracy doesn't matter. That gives me crit chance and 5% dex. Which, that 5% dex is not quite enough to get the spell suppression. Um, maybe it could be. I just need to refund two passives, put it here and here. And then now, try that again. Still 99. But crit chance, 36.71. You put these two points back. Oh, well, I guess I wouldn't know, would I? I drop this crit chance. So I'm at 58.9. Drop that crit chance take this 55 7 oh if i take that off i'm three int off oh i can fix that i don't know if four is enough one of them applied two cool so then now i can drop this int node and then grab that crit chance back okay and this is 12 damage well i need the int there now for sure so i can't put this one in they're about the same anyways well it's more damage go next do it again 254 adrenaline okay he died real quick okay here he's down 25 seconds is what it takes to respawn him so that seems good as long as it can keep up hey okay, come on lion eye goes, goes down I like it definitely helping and it wasn't looking at the time it took me a long time to get that refresh though so i should be fine hey a lightning arrow that's got to be a 123 115 there's Yuri. 115 yeah i'm a little slow but definitely faster than last time by a lot okay so that's where i was last time going for lion eye here isn't the best but it's definitely on the path i don't think i'm getting to Yuri. i'd have to like run the other way go 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 i got her I got them all four times. Nope, none. So much stuff dies to those zaps when I'm running up here. Just like deleting stuff. I don't know if this one's going to go quite as well as last time. I'm not going to have as much time to get back through them both. So go after Huri first. Come on. Yeah, there we go. All right. Something. Oh, come on. Where are the jewels? She's spawned in a very different spot this time. Damaturgy's incubator. Another Jack the Axe, and no jewels. If I was running four ways, like, I wouldn't be killing them more times. Like, I'd maybe get one more round, but, like, I'm not getting through four of them every 25 seconds. Three is where my build's at, so it's going to give me the best chance at getting them. Elegant Hubris. That one came offline. I only killed him three times. Uh, something else I could do. Take the Assassin's Mark. Use PCPs. Hey, that's a challenge completion. Power charge generation on hit that will also help this one was not quick at all but 
I did get the charges up. So much of it is about where the mark ends up if it shows up on the right enemy. No jewel this time. Hey, got all of them four times. No jewel. Got them all four times yet again. Nope. Level 21, 20 caustic arrow. Well, I think I know somebody who might want that. 21 destructive link and purity of lightning. I only got lion eye three times. Lethal pride for each. Mm, nope. Hmm, something I just realized. I guess part of this is about managing rage as well and not letting it die and then turning off my tincture when I go to reset. That's a factor. Hit the adrenaline on cooldown. The zaps will keep the rage up. I don't have to actually like melee hit stuff. That's four on each with time left. But yeah, there's no way that I'm ever getting that next one. No jewel. Oh, it has returned. I'm just not gonna worry about it until I finish these. Still no jewel. They are stingy on those jewels. Makes me curious. Glorious Vanity and Trade League. Only 1920 chaos. Okay, all of these are none of them. Okay, Doriani jewels are expensive. Those are the ones you don't won't need to divine, I guess, because that's the one that gives you divine flesh. I'm sure. So they're not free. All of them four times. Please give me jewel. No jewel. What about this one? Elegant hubris and a glorious vanity with Doriani. Ah, finally. Next one. No jewels. No jewel. Sentinel jacket six link. Lion, I didn't die last one. Mortal rage. No jewels. Last Maricath emblem. I'll do 16 of them. And I got a jewel on the first one. No jewel. Well, luckily I got the one I needed. I want the rest. I'm gonna put four of them in here and see what happens. And now I start with the chaos one. So all my timings are gonna be different now. But yeah, here, like sometimes you can get lucky and kill this guy really quickly. So I can actually potentially handle four here. Whereas the other one, you gotta deal with both phases of that boss really annoying so I got, I got four of the two that i'm targeting and then three of the others lethal pride elegant hubris golden plate six link i didn't get a fourth here this time and i got a lethal pride though which is the here one box of fourth time that's good domains of timeless conflict with at least 25 rewards complete militant faith and lethal pride channeling skills increased damage and effect of non-damaging ailments uh Getting these ones kind of depends on killing Vox without him getting his shield guys out where he takes no damage. No jewels this time, but an unrelenting timeless Templar emblem and a rebuke of the ball. It's a bad rebuke. Elegant hubris and lethal pride. It'd be really unfortunate if there's just like a way better chance of getting the jewels in a four way. A level 21 flame dash. That is a gem. <laughs> lethal pride, elegant hubris. I'm only getting three kills off on Lion Eye. No quality on the Flame Dash. No! Come on! Oh, good. timer keeps going. Timer keeps going. Crap! So close to the level. I don't know what happened to me either. Unfortunate. Come on. Die, 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 die. Maybe it was real close. Militant Faith, Lethal Pride, Geomancers, and an Exalted Orb. This one has... All res and increased defenses from equipped shield. And sometimes this guy does not lose his invulnerability even if I break all the, the guys that come around him. You're supposed to run through them all and then they disappear and then you can go back and damage him like I am right there. But sometimes it just does not work. Geomancer, Glorious Vanity. Finally, another one. The thing I want the most is these, is the Glorious Vanities. Seven more. Glorious Vanity, Unrelenting Timeless Templar Emblem. Okay, I have two of those. Lethal Pride, Militant Faith, Channeling Skills, and Mana Regen. No! Not good. That was a lot of degen, and I had no life blast left. No jewels. I think it's him getting to the wall and some of them don't spawn because they're in the wall and I can't get rid of them because they didn't spawn. So he's just invulnerable until that attack ends. No jewel. Wow. <laughs> okay. Elegant hubris. Last one of these for today. Here we go. 
up here. Piper. Hold down right click. Watch my HP. Flasks again. Then I run for Hiri. Hit something along the way. Keep the rage going. Now I'm down here. Get the flask and tincture going again. Watch for adrenaline. Push adrenaline. Good. Then go for the Templar dude. Repent. Run through all of his things. Now I can deal damage. Tincture's back on. Crit flask. Okay, then run. All the way up here. Okay, Lion Eye. Uh, needed. Yep. Adrenaline again. Ow. Tincture back up. Okay, tincture off. Run to the middle. Reset. Back up here. Repeat. Adrenaline up. I just keep, keep the rage up. Ow. Okay. Can turn tincture off here. And then I'll get it back up during this. Get the adrenaline again. Okay, then middle. Reset. Templar. Dodge that. Adrenaline. Please die, please die. Good, 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 good. Then Lion Eye. It's pretty much been my process on every single one of these thus far. I got it kind of hammered out. But they can spawn in slightly different locations each time, so it can be a little more rough. Then you hit something, it didn't reset. I'd, I'd left too early. Okay, and back up here, all the things, adrenaline. Okay, turn tincture off, because this is a bit of a run. Okay, everything back on. Okay, tincture off. Go ahead and hit the adrenaline. Go for this guy. Turn everything back on. Beam. Come on. No, he did it. Ah. Oh. Gotta wait a second. There we go. It was the one hit. Okay, adrenaline. Tincture. Don't stand in that fire. Be good. Tincture off. Middle. Back up here. Adrenaline is two, one. Now. Back. Tincture off. Slap those guys. Back to here. Flasks tincture. Okay, and that was kill number four on those two. And then if I was faster, I'd go back for this one. Yeah, uh, that's how a lot of them have gone. I die fighting that one. Elegant Hubris, Lethal Pride. Well, I definitely got more doing the four ways, so... It's possible due to trying to optimally go through the kill pattern on the one that has two phases and running those as a three-way legion, I possibly lost a couple jewels doing that. I did manage to get one, but pretty rough, I would say. And getting more six links, more valuable gems. And then I have acquired all of this, which these lethal prides are good for a lot of melee builds. So a lot of these I'll probably trade away. Um, I definitely 
need at least one glorious vanity for myself with a Doriani because I want to play Divine Flesh something. So that's what I was going for. I have one. The rest of this just for our group self found. And then I'm like still just gaining things, stacking currency of all kinds, incubators for days. And I guess tonight I will clean up the dump that I want to do that tomorrow. And I've been thinking about leveling a new character. But I think tomorrow I'll play another day on this so that I can make sure this treasury is all good and set so that I can level a new character and not have to worry about the gold or anything going on in here. It, there'll be enough gold that it can just basically not get touched for like two days. So I'll want to do that. Oh, and we got... Yeah, we got to ship back and I'm going to need to give myself a better hat if I'm going to continue on with this Commodore. It fights back a bit. What do we got here? That is a six link Paladin's Halberk at a level 86. Awesome. 695 ES. Dang. Without equality. Whoa. Life mana fire res helmet. Wow. I feel like this gear keeps getting better. But what is this chest, man? It has the int on it too. Let's see. Look what each quality does to this thing. 833? What? That is ridiculous. Like that's, you You can make a build around that. <laughs> and then yeah, another six link. All right, I should have the wheat. I need 6K ship. Yep, 6K wheat. And we can amplify it. Not just send them. And then the blue xanthemum. We need another 2,900 there. 550 of this. Oh, that's got a risk. Ah, it's 1%. They already had problems. So send that and have these guys send some blue xanthemum up there. Just because we'll need to be working on that. Hey, I got three boats going. But I'll get my level next time. Go after trying to get six link. Grind through more of these incubators. And then tomorrow we'll like for sure hammer out what the new build is going to be for the day after. But with that, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button as it really helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss more videos from me. If you'd like to help support my channel, please consider using the super thanks, the heart icon just below the video or by joining to become a member. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.